This is Sean Hollister with The Verge, and I'm here with the new Oculus Rift Developer Kit 2. The latest version of the virtual reality headset that Oculus has been prototyping for over a year now. It's basically the same as the Crystal Cove that we saw at CES that blew us away at that show, except all the infrared LEDs are now hidden behind this transparent plastic, which is still opaque enough you can't quite see through it. It's got refined latency of sub-20 milliseconds. There's a 1080p screen in there now compared to the 720p version of the developer kit a year ago. The lenses in here have a new resin that makes them a little bit better for the use. And most importantly, it doesn't make you nearly as sick as when you use it as with the original developer kit. It was a bit of an issue at first. You could get sick, a little bit of motion sickness, simulator sickness, when looking around the environment, particularly if you're moving. But now, this camera here tracks these LEDs. The OLED display inside has a uh, low persistence screen, such that the pixels don't smear the same way across your vision. It looks clear, it looks glassy, compared to the blurry, pixelated original. So this is VR Nights. It's an Oculus Rift experience by Epic. And I've got this little, uh, this female knight, this little avatar, uh, like an action figure I'm controlling. And you can actually see my hands and my legs, you know, sitting in this chair, uh, and the other player as well. But we're both controlling these, uh, like these animated action figures. I can roam around this living room arena and follow her up these uh, set of bookcases over here, the stacking bookcases, get some higher ground. Rain down uh, some fireballs across the room. The objective is just to uh, smack this, this other avatar a few times to demonstrate my dominance. So not only am, uh, do I have this little avatar, but my body is also, my virtual body and hands are also in this game, and so is the other players. I'm playing with somebody else sitting right next to me on a couch, and I can just jump on their lap and smack them around a bit, jump up on their head. Do a dive attack. Lots of objects in the arena you can knock off. It's a pretty simple game, but uh, shows some of the potential of this for being more than just uh, first-person adventure games, for sure. This is going to be $349 for this developer kit in July, and pre-orders are opening this morning at 8 a.m.